Okay guys, in this video I'm going to teach you my portrait editing skills um, to go from this image here to this image. Okay, right, let's go into our development mode like so. So you'll see, first of all, I shot this um, on 1 80th of a second at f.4. Um, I've done the f.4 so I could get a fair bit of his face in focus. Um, and still get that slightly kind of soft edges where I needed it. Um, I shot it in ISO 100 again, focusing in on the eyes just to make sure that I can get um, the, the crispest finish I could possibly get. On a 24 to 70 f2.8, that's a Canon lens on my Canon 5D Mark III. I had two continuous lights and one flash which I bounced off the ceiling and straight back onto Matt's face. Um, by the way, this is Matt Hales. Um, he's a model based in Norwich, London, and pretty much wherever he else wants to be. Really nice guy. Um, go follow him on Twitter. I'll put links to his um, address and I'll put links to his Instagram page. Okay, so first thing I'll do um, is I'll have a little quick scan into his face. Um, I'll just see if there's any imperfections and I'll use my tool just up here just to take any kind of little blemish out. The good thing with Lightroom is that it will kind of pre-select where you want um, um, or where it thinks that a nice finish should be. If it doesn't, you can just pick it up like I've just done and drag it along. Um, I tend to get rid of moles as well, um, anything that kind of just draws your eye to it. But I won't go into um, Photoshop and I won't do the frequency corrections or the frequency techniques um, on the skin because I just think it looks a little bit unnatural. I like my portraits to still have that kind of like nice natural kind of feel to it. Um, so it kind of gives you that raw image. Um, so I'll click done. Uh, then I'll come across to white balance. Let's just come out of that. I'll come across to white balance. I always kind of like cool my images down a little bit um, just to kind of get rid of that um, too kind of like sort of normal flesh color. Um, so by doing that, it kind of whitens his skin out a little bit. But again, I like my portraits to, to look more like a painting. Um, won't worry too much about the greens uh, and the magentas for now. Um, exposure, um, I'll just kind of maybe just dull it down a couple of notches. Again, like so. Contrast, um, I'll boost the contrast quite a lot. Um, I don't tend to normally do this if I'm doing female shoots, but on the guy shoots I will. I bring my highlights down and already you can see the skin kind of taking a nicer kind of tinge to it. Um, and then I'll push my shadows up just to bring out a little bit more detail and what you can see like so. Um, whites, I'll just drop a little bit. Some people will take the whites up but I kind of feel like it highlights the skin a bit too much. So I'll have them down a little bit and then I'll push my blacks down again as well like so. Uh, next one down, clarity. Um, a lot of people will boost it, but you can see what it does to his hair. It kind of like makes him look grey. Um, but I would never go any lower than sort of minus 14 on this one. Um, and then I'll drop the vibrance as well. I'll just take some of the, the sort of the, the, the colour out of it. And I'll also do quite a bit on the saturation. I'll bring that down quite a bit too, but still keeping a little bit of colour in it like so. Um, for my curves, I'll put my three dots, which I always do, one, two, and three. But on this occasion, I'm just going to put another one just down on here as well. And I'm just going to drag that one down a little bit. I'm not going to get too much on the, there we go, like so. Um, and I would just want to bring the red down a little bit too as well, just to sort of kind of take that red out of his, out of his lips. Um, okay, so then coming down to the split tone, um, I'm going to move this one up into the kind of the yellow area. Now you can, if you press your Alt key down, you can see what colour you're putting into it. So I'm going to put a little bit of red, and I'll always take this one up way up to the top, um, and then I'll start to bring it down just so you can kind of see where you want it. I'm going to put that back a little bit more into the reds there but then by doing this you're taking that saturation of the red out that's quite nice there maybe a little bit more um, and with the shadows i'll do the same so i'm going to put the red into it here you can see you press alt you can see which actually color you're putting in and then take that right to the top and then just bring it down 
it's all personal preference. So bring it down to about there. Just adds a little tinge to his skin just to make it look a little bit lower. Um, sharpening, I always boost my sharpening. Um, some people may not, but I do. And again, on the radius and the detail, if you press down on your Alt key, moving it along, you can kind of bring it down to zero, taking it up slowly. You can then kind of start to see the picture come through and then you can, um, and that will then sharpen just those areas. The same on the detail. You can see what's going to come through. I can just about see his eye, just about here. I'll drop that out. And then on the masking, uh, this one will only sharpen the bits that appear in white. So you don't want to sharpen the noise in some pictures. So I just keep moving it up just till I get the eyes, um, just sort of the bits that I want to sharpen. And then you've pretty much got a nice sharp image just there. Noise reduction I don't really do too much with because with an ISO 100 you shouldn't really have too much noise reduction. Um, I'll click these two here and then I'll set that to my lens just so you can see it just sort of levels everything out. Um, and then I don't really do too much with the vignetting or the grain or anything. Um, fine tuning then, I'll come up, I'll adjust the crop slightly, like so. Click on done. I'll then go to the crop tool again and I'll go on angle. Now this is something that I like to do. If you focus in on your angle, if you focus in right on the middle of his pupil, and then you take it across to the next one, that will give you a dead straight image. Um, something that you probably wouldn't be able to see with your eye. You can then adjust the, the crop again just to make sure that it's all okay. Um, that looks okay to me. I might put a little bit more vibrance back in. More saturation back in there. Okay, let's go to... So then it's pretty much from there, it's all about fine tune. Now you can already see from the original picture, it looks less of a standard kind of studio portrait shoot and a little bit darker. Um, but all this comes down to personal preference. It's all about just sort of playing around. Um, I'll then kind of go into my brushes. I've got a load of brushes which I've got on here. Um, and I'll go into my dodge tool, which is my lighten one, and I'll just put some streaks of light back into his hair. You can kind of just see tips and things just changing ever so slightly. Like that. Again, all just personal personal choice. Um, you can then lift it if you don't think it's enough. You can go like so, and then you can see which bits it, that you have highlighted, and then adjust that accordingly. Like so, click on done. Another thing I'll do is I'll highlight and go closer in on eyes. Again, I'll go onto my brushes. Um, I usually just click on my highlight one. Come down to my um, mask overlay, just so you can kind of see what you're painting. And I'll give his eyes a bit of a paint, like so. Again, don't judge me, I know this isn't like mega accurate, but it works. Then I'll come out to fit, I'll unclick this section here, um, and I'll see what it's done to his eyes. I mean, the highlights are already up slightly anyway, but you can see what it's done. You never want to go too far with the eyes. I'll just lift it a little bit. I'll also bring um, my sharpening up on there as well, just just so they pop a little bit. You never want to do it so it looks abnormal. Um, click done, looking a bit better. Like so. And it, like I said to you before, it's all just all just playing around. See, instantly by taking the highlights down, it adds another kind of dimension to his face. And again, kind of looks like a little bit more moody. Another thing I have done before, which I do kind of like, kind of giving all my secrets away here, um, is I'll go to the darken tool, um, and then I'm just gonna paint a little bit of shadow into the side of his face. His face, Matthew, sorry Matt. Um, and kind of just darken up the neck area. This kind of all just highlights his face a little bit better and it looks like that the lights are on the side. It just adds a little bit more sort of shadow. You can darken up his stubble as well if you want, like so. Um, and maybe I'll just go a little bit lighter just on the insides of his eyes and maybe just a quick wash over the eye there. Um, now I think that looks pretty good. Don't you? So that's my tutorial. Um, I don't care if you copy me. It's all about like passing on your knowledge and having a bit of fun with it. 
so yeah so um if you if you need any help just comment below um like my video subscribe because i'll do a few more of these because portrait photography is what i love and what i do um go follow matt and yeah happy days thanks guys i'll see you soon